beautiful people of the Most High God. So there's something I want to talk about. These are like three main sayings that people live by and they swear it to be the truth. But these sayings are actually foolish. All right. Proverbs 15 and 2. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. So these sayings are foolishness, and I'm going to prove it to you in scriptures. Number one, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I'm going to break that down. Number two, strength in numbers. Number three, hurt people hurt people. And I'm going to show you that all of it is actually not true at all. It's foolishness. And I'm going to prove it. Alright. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Did not Christ say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity? Was Christ among his enemies and people who didn't like him? He stayed away from them. He had a friend of me in the group, which was Judas, but he had 12 disciples. He wasn't friends with everybody. And he wasn't making friends with his enemy. He wasn't making friends with Satan. You... You people think that this is wise to keep your friends close and your enemies closer. You should keep your friends close and your enemies far from you. You know, a prophet is not welcome in his own home. And you should be being far from your enemies. All right? Depart from me, you workers in equity. What fellowship does light have with darkness? If you hate somebody, you should have no fellowship with them. That's why hypocrites are going in the lake of fire. Strength. A prophet is not welcome in his own home. And it tells you if they persecute you in one city, flee to the next city. So you shouldn't be friends with your enemies. They're, re they're called an enemy for a reason. A friend is a friend and an enemy is an enemy know the difference look how far God is from Satan Christ wasn't showing up to Satan Satan was showing up to Christ look at the difference now those people who are who live by that saying keep your friends close and your enemies closer they operate like Satan now, two, strength in numbers. No, that is another foolish saying. There's no strength in numbers. There's strength in God. That's why the word of God tells you, a thousand shall fall at thy, by thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but nothing shall come nigh unto thee because there's no strength in numbers. There's strength in God. There's strength in the power of God. There's strength in the word of God. For the word of God is quick, sharper than any two-edged sword. You have strength with God. Now, this one is so big that people swear by. Hurt people hurt people. What? No. It hurt people don't hurt people. Unhealed people and broken people hurt people. Because you can be hurt by somebody and you're not going to revenge them. You heal yourself and you move forward. You need to heal from your hurt. God heals you and Christ came to save you and heal you from hurt, death, pains, and sickness. Now let's furthermore prove this. When you're unhealed, that is when you hurt people. It's not hurt people, hurt people. Unhealed people do. I, I, what did Christ come to do? He came to heal you. What does God say he'll do? He'll heal you. Hosea 14 and 4. I will heal their backslided. I will love them freely. For my anger is turned away from him. Isaiah 57 and 18. I have seen his ways and I will heal him. I will lead him also and restore comfort unto him and to his mourners. So when you need comforting and when you need mourning, when you're mourning, you need to be healed from that. You're not supposed to stay in that hurt. God said he will heal you. And what is in Matthew 8 and 7 it says, And Christ said unto him, I will come and heal him. So it's not hurt people hurt people, it's unhealed people who hurt people. Well, in Isaiah 57 and 19, what does God say? I create the fruit of the lips, peace, peace to him that is far off. 
and to him that is near, says the Lord, and I will heal him. So do you understand that? So God made good and he made evil, right? And he told you that he made light and he made darkness and he divided and he separated the light from the darkness. So what are you doing keeping your friends close, your your enemies close and your 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 friends close and your enemies closer? Why are you keeping your enemies close to you? Even God separated light from darkness. Does that make sense to you? What fellowship does light have with darkness? What fellowship should you have with your enemy? Hurt people don't hurt people. Unhealed and broken people do. People who have not healed from the hurt. I've been hurt many times. I don't go seeking revenge and hurting other people. You heal. You move forward. Strength in numbers. No, baby. The strength in God. And I just wanted to tell you that and let you have an understanding deeper with God's word because... A lot of people love to throw that saying around. Hurt people, hurt people. No, stop saying that. Unhealed people hurt people. Broken people hurt people. People who don't want to do the work and heal their wounds. But God said he'll, he'll heal your wounds. Even your wounds. You see what I'm saying? Those things, when you have a cut or a bruise, what do you do? You nurture it. You comfort it. You heal it. God heals wounds. And I just want you to know that I, I'm just looking for the scripture. And I think it's Jeremiah. Yeah. There it is. Jeremiah 30 and 17. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, says the Lord. So you need to be healed. You need good health. Isaiah 58 and 8. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy rewarder. Now, people who are unhealed and do stupidness, my wounds are stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. For following foolish sins, like hurt people hurt people, still stuck in their wounds and haven't healed them. So what does God do? Psalms 147 and 3. He heals the broken in heart and binds up their wounds. Now, Proverbs 13 and 17. A wicked messenger falls into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is health. So stop saying hurt people hurt people, unheal people, scarred people hurt people, because they haven't healed their wounds. They haven't healed their hurt. They haven't healed their pain. They haven't let go. Stay blessed.